for the noise. <laughs> What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most certified show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my valid co-host, Graydon. <laughs> I'm valid. Validate me. <laughs> All right, today we're a sent for samples. This is Guess the Popular Rap Song from the Sample. All right, here's how this one's gonna work. DJ Grant's gonna play us a song or a sound, and, and, and we're gonna have to guess which popular rap song samples that song or sound. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you, Demarcus in Mobile, Alabama. All right, before we get into it, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com and Patreon link in description, $5 a month, the best way to support our channel right now. If you like it, please consider joining the Patreon. You get extra content, a bunch of other cool stuff. Kind of stuff like this. Like a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> For good measure. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell my head's out of the game today. I'm vulnerable. Yeah. You have a real shot today because yeah. I heard that and was like, I've heard that before. And then my brain was like, <laughs> three, two, one. What's your name, Tyler? I love college. Asher Roth. It is What's Your Name by Tyler. Oh. You plugged back in. You you fooled me. I just, in my head, was like, shawty, you look malnourished. <laughs> and then I was like, which song off the new Tyler is that? Cool. I've only made it through that project once, but boy, did I like what I heard. Right? Wow. Right? And all the visuals coming out for it are just like a movie. So crazy. Cool. A movie. Yep. Oh, you look malnourished. Oh, you look malnourished. Number two, hailing from Columbus, Ohio, DJ Grant. <laughs> Number two is for poop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, take off that blue hat. Yeah. Take off that blue hat if you're gonna watch the rest of the video. Doesn't look good on you. Three, two, one. Cardi woke up like this? LSD, ASAP Rocky? This is Location by Playboy Cardi. Oh. Ah. I really thought it was LSD. I yeah. knew it was Cardi. I, in my head, I, I already knew like the cadence and everything, but I just couldn't place where it yeah. was. I can hear it now, clear as, a, clear as a dog's day in September. Hmm? A dog day in September? I think you're mixing up Florence and the Machine and Green Day. So dog. the dog days are over and wake me up when September ends. Not wake me up when the dog days in September end. Right. Yeah. Got it. You are <laughs> spot on. That's why you're good at this game. What? What? You're gonna hop on my car. Wow, Harry Fraud really did that. We are lucky there's a family guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. I think I left my bidet on. Ah, oh, sh- Here, one second. Was it on? That was a mess. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a clean-ass bathroom, I'll tell you that much. That one gets you going, dude. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. dude. They would up update TOS. I'd pop my top off for that one, I swear to God. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If they update iOS again, I'm gonna pop my pop something off. Huh? I'm gonna pop off. Yeah? I got an iPhone. I'm just trying to fit it. <laughs> FaceTime! Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Catch me outside, Ski Master Slump God. Uh, I thought it was called Rumple Stilt Skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Catch Me Outside Dang by it. Ski Master Slump God. It's not actually a sample, it's the actual beat. It's the, like, he uses the beat from an old Missy Elliott song that Timbaland produced. Okay. And he just used that beat and rapped over it. But Missy gave her blessing and all that stuff and, like, let him, you know, roll it out. So. Wow. I just wish that Allison Stoner had been in the Lyrical Lemonade Scheme as the Slump God video as a callback to Missy Elliott. That's genius. Naruto, nine tail, far so I feel like a Gucci ad lib. I hate this new mumble rap. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that one. That was like a gimme. Silver platter. I fumbled it. That was me fumbling it. Mm -hmm. Just like you did at the Waiter, waiter Olympics in 2007. Why would you bring that up? Why would you bring that up now? It's old enough. I feel like it's been enough time. That's 14 years ago. You carry a tray for a 20 top across a greased bowling alley dining room floor. Give us another fucky French sample. <laughs> ah, shit. I even messed that one up. I'm rapping it in my head. If it helps you, this is from Donkey Kong Country Country 2, the video game. That is so cool. Wow. Um, I thought that was like Vivaldi. It was like picturing popping my powdered wig off in like the 18th century to that. <laughs> Sound like an orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, then that part hits, everybody's like, <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it was. It was just Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, King K. Rule, all of them were playing the instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I think Crash Bandicoot plays part of it. Yeah. He plays the b- drums. Yoshi plays the alto sax in that one too. Later in the song. <laughs> Hell of a solo too. I like need to rap. Can you quote, plug your ears? Sure. Can I hum while I do it though, so I don't? Do you have the right answer for sure? Ah, no. Because this will might give it to you. Here, I'm just gonna go, and I won't be able to hear it. Just whisper it to yourself. No, I'm gonna rap it at Grant and see if I can get all the way there. I admit it, I admit it. You ain't been there never like a minute. (laughs) Fuck! What is the fucking song, dude? (laughs) I'm really used to doing this because my parents used to argue a lot. Yeah. So I just kind of. You ain't been the man for like a minute. <laughs> I'd unplug for a second. Of course it's his fault. I'd be like, <laughs> three, two, one. Drake, Six God. Oh, you're right. I put Silly Watch by Lil Uzi Vert. It is Six God by Drake. Oh, I can't believe I got it. <laughs> oh my God. I was rapping it at Grant. I was like, I admit it, I admit it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, wow, I'm really off my game today. So that is a Donkey Kong sample. Yeah, that's awesome that he reached into the Donkey Kong bag for that <laughs> one. <laughs> that's so cool. I'll admit it, I'll admit it. Watch your motherfucking tone, boy. You gotta really love Drake for that because if someone passed me a Donkey Kong sample, I w- couldn't help myself from Donkey Kong bars. Six God, just like DK, boy, because we both be with Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that there's a song called Jungle on that album, uh-huh. and that's not the one that samples Donkey Kong. Strange, <laughs> yeah, strange choices were made. <laughs> Drizzy Kong. <laughs> Drizzy Kong did. Dude, I can't tell if this is like jazz or like an old like classic rock song. What is going on here? I would call it acid jazz. Yeah. Acid jazz. Acid jazz. Okay. Acid rock. For a second I was like, is this fish? <laughs> <laughs> String cheese <and> stuff? <laughs> Who sampled them? <laughs> what a noise. Three, two, one. Yeah, by Usher. Ride Slow by Paul Wall. <laughs> This is If You Know You Know by Pusha T. (laughs) Oh, okay. King Push. King Push. Yeah. If you know, you know. This thing of ours, oh, this thing of ours. A fraternity of drug dealers. Is that produced by Kanye? Sounds like it. What's it on? What album's it on? If it's on Daytona, it's produced by Kanye. Yeah, it's Daytona. Yeah, yeah. the way that vocals flips treated. Yeah. You can recognize that. Yeah, production totally, for sure. totally, totally. I okay. like how he used that as like a squeaky chair element, too. Yeah. Like he took it and was just like, yeah, just make it like the squeaky chair. Because <laughs> I almost guessed a Kanye song. Yeah. But then I was like, I'll just guess something stupid. I did not guess something stupid. I guessed one of my favorite songs of all time uh-huh. just to get it out there. Ride slow, <laughs> homie. Ride slow, homie. <laughs> used to be Soul Wall, by the way until he rubbed mud on his eyes and became not blind anymore and then became an, uh, an apostle of Christ. Is this one of your Bible stories again? Maybe. I uh, still can't believe you wrote that book. I have a hard time believing it. You used to always tell me that. I, I wrote see- one of them. There's like three other guys who did it too. It seems a lot older than you somehow. I mean, I helped write it. I knew the guy who wrote it. Okay. Jesus? No, it was the other guy. Just- yeah. I didn't know Jesus personally. I mean, were you in the writer's room or like? It's more of a writer's cave back uh, then, honestly. Yeah. But um, okay. I mean, I knew that. I, I just knew that. I ran in the same circle as the guys who Went wrote to, that book. Drank the same wine. Yeah, I mean, I think they would credit me. They would, if you asked them if I helped write it, they'd probably say, yeah. Cool. No, I wrote. I wrote. I wrote it. I mean, I know the guys. Like, it's it's whatever. I don't want to get into logistics. Stuff. All right. It's not even my best book either. Mm-hmm. Prisoner of Azkaban is my best book. Third, <laughs> third Harry Potter. <laughs> Okay, tight sight groove, very inner speaker-y, but I'm guessing it's an old 80s psych song or something, maybe 90s psych. Yeah. Two, three, one. Skeletons, Travis Scott. Tequila shots, Kid Cutty. This is Antidote by Travis Scott. You got oh. the artist. Oh, yeah, okay. Skeletons is produced by Tame Impala, so I knew it wasn't gonna be that. Yeah. I just like was like, ah, oh, what's that song that sounds like Tame Impala by Travis, whatever. Three nothing, I am still getting skunked, and I don't want the day to end like that. I will hurt myself if I get skunked. How so? That kind of stuff. Scratchy sort of thing. Yeah, deal. I'll just okay. like really rip my flesh off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll try and rip my flesh off, kind of like those breakaway basketball pants. Ah, okay, <laughs> man. That's <laughs> <laughs> just my skeleton left. I'm like, ah! Don't you let out that antidote. Yeah! Pop and 
<laughs> yep, a little slowed down, flip flopped, cl clippity clooped. Mm -hmm. um, I think they did a little bit of a deflobulator in there too, as I well. Think, I think it, they slow baked it at like 280 for like six hours. Uh huh. You know, really put a crust on it. Could have been a crock pot. What do you call me? Could have been a crock pot. Oh, I hate when you say that word. <laughs> DJ Grant, I'm feeling ample. Please play us that next sample. Ooh, yeah, go team. Fly like the wind, it's time to begin your life. Was that Crazy Frog on bass? On that one? What? Crazy Frog you, can't play bass, dude. You ask about all the jazz musicians and stuff, and the moment I ask about an artist I like, it's like some laughing stock or something. <laughs> you wouldn't know jazz if you threw it at a barn door. Was that Al City on drums? I'm gonna need that song sent over to me stat. By the way, too, Grant. Smooth, smooth stuff. <laughs> it's like cat butter on my ears. Cat butter? <laughs> yeah. What's cat butter? When you milk the feral cats in your neighborhood and then you churn it. Old school style. It's cat butter. What, you never did that? Tell me your family never did that. <laughs> Tell me your cousins never did that. And No? No. Come on. I, I know someone out there. Yeah, someone out there has done cat butter. Feral cat butter? It's gotta be feral, yep. Domesticated cats, their milk, it's a little acidic. And what does this do for your ears? Yeah, it's just like some people say like, ooh, that's smooth as butter. Oh, yeah. Smoothest butter I've ever had is feral cat butter. They don't like it very much, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it for me, at least. <laughs> okay, yeah. And pop, my family. Pop that on a biscuit, I guess. Is that the a deal? biscuit? Yeah. Thanksgiving turkey. Always got to have some cat butter on it. Um, okay. Hot buttered rum. A hot cat buttered rum. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Toast. A little piece of toast. <laughs> Put a little cat butter on there. Forget about it. Three, two, one. Shape of you, Ed Sheeran. Tom Ford. Jay Z. This is Crime Pays by Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib. Ah, okay. Leave it to Mad Lib to sample some crazy smooth, extra spicy jazz. Well, I think Mad Lib produced Shape of You as well, so that's why I guessed it. Yeah, I actually, I know for a fact that you're right. Yeah. Because he won the Presidential uh, Medal of Freedom for that. And the Nobel Peace Prize. Crime Pays, nigga, Crime Pays. Chopping up the change with cocaine in my microwave. Uh, which mainstream holiday mascot do you think you'd have the best chance against in a fight? Holiday mascot? You're talking about like a leprechaun for... Easter Bunny, Tooth Easter Fairy, Bunny. Santa Claus, you know. Tooth Fairy's not a holiday, but we'll throw him in the mix. <laughs> it, was, it was a celebration which one, in my house. Which oh, one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> which one wins in a fight? No, which one would you have the best chance against in a fight? Well, ever since I saw that guy knock the shit out of that kangaroo, like I'm not that scared of like big bouncy things on two feet. And mm. the Easter Bunny never runs like a traditional bunny. Mm. Kind of just hops around. I'd probably be like, I think I could square him up. Yeah, he's got eggs in a basket, though. Those can be weapons, if you he's, think about it. Yeah, that's true. But Santa's magic. Tooth Fairy's magic. Yeah. Valentine's Day Cupid is magic. And we all know I can't afford to fall in love again. Mm -hmm. Peter uh, Pan is magic. Peter Pan is magic. Mm -hmm. And the New Year's Eve demon is an evil demon from hell. So I wouldn't want to fight him either. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with the Easter Bunny. Call it six round knockout. I can't believe you didn't celebrate Tooth Fairy Day either. Mm -mm. Never lost any of my teeth. Still got all my baby teeth. No, you don't. Yeah, they're not on my head anymore, but I never lost. Him. Oh, keep him in a little bag, and I shake it when I need good luck, and I light some incense and mm. kind of dangle him around, you know. You know you can take those to Coinstar. Yeah, they take ten percent though. <laughs> but still, if you're just holding on to them, I don't I'll see. just roll them myself. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee. This says, "Fool me once, shame on, shame on you. <laughs> if fool me, we can't get fooled again." <laughs> President Bush. No, I know. <laughs> uh, trust me, I know. Uh, that's President George W. Bush. <laughs> there goes George W. being all smart again, you know? Am I the only one who growing up thought pay-per-view was like paper? Yes. <laughs> pay-per-view? Yes, you are the only one. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> For so long, I thought it was pay-per-view. No. Like, I hope I got the right song, because I know the artist, I know the album. One of your favorite songs of all time is on this album. I only have two favorite songs of all time. Yeah, it's one of them. I know. You're telling me this sample is used on The Stranger by Billy Joel? <laughs> <laughs> Try the other one. Marsupial Superstars by Saw Baby? <laughs> Three, two, one. No Role Models, J. Cole? Uh, I did The Wiggles, Another Cry for Help. This is No Role Models by J. Cole. Hey, there we go. I'm back, baby. <laughs> and I, like, I never left. Yeah, Wet Dreams is on that album. Uh, I know, <laughs> I told you, bro. I tried to clue you in. God, what a weight off my shoulders, dude. No one wants to be a stinky skunk. <laughs>
It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Play us a song, you're the sample man. <laughs> <laughs> you love Billy Joel. I do love him. Billy. Yeah. Take another grape in the juicer. Or fill your guts with grease and get looser. Pull another joint for the giver. I'm gonna sound like super tramp. You remember them? Yeah. Take a look at my girlfriend. Hey, yeah. Uh, She's the only one I got. Zavada, huh? Not much of a girlfriend. No. <laughs> Never seem to get a lot. No, 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 no. I love doing super tramp ad libs with you. That's yeah, fun. that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> we used to do that on car traps with our families. Remember that? Oh uh, yeah. Remember that that double car we got? Mm -hmm. It was the two laner. It was basically just two cars soldered together. <laughs> soldered. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, what, that's a real word. People say that all the time. <laughs> Better wear goggles while you're soldering because that's that the actual word. Soldering. Soldering. <laughs> soldering. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Couldn't do much shouldering with that car either. We had to go all the way off the road. It was mm -hmm. so wide. It was you were basically wide. on the giggle strips the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the giggle strips, dude. I loved their first album. Yeah. <laughs> My improv group was called the giggle strips. That's what I used to call acid in college. <laughs> <laughs> You boys trying to get a giggle strip this weekend? <laughs> Lose our minds. Three, two, one. Wiz Khalifa cushion orange juice. <laughs> Wrong. It's definitely Whipsky skies and snot. <laughs> this is lemonade by Gucci Mane. Oh, oh gosh, now I hear it all day. Problem with songs like that is I'm always so tragically high when I'm listening to it. Like by the time someone puts on lemonade by Gucci Man, I got an edible in me. We're smoking a blunt. There's a gravity bong. There's a vaporizer. Moon rocks. Moon rocks. <laughs> you name it. See, I was singing that interpolation in my head, and I was like, which rapper would sing like this? And yeah. it's just like the feature on the hook or whatever. All right, well, three to one, it remains. More chances. And if we had one more one, we got 311. Oh! Grant, come on, come sit here, get one point. <laughs> Come here, get one point real Get quick, one point so. real quick, so. Come on. I'm on the Titanic. You know everybody on the Titanic's still alive. What? Yeah, they just, they crashed in like a radiation zone, so no one can go near them. But they're all underwater, because oh. they got powers. They're fish. It's like Atlantis. It is Atlantis. It is Atlantis. <sighs> it's awesome. It's awesome. It's cool. It's my favorite instrument, the Bermuda Triangle. Bing! <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> Wait, what? That's it? As a country boy, I got spooked because <laughs> I thought there was a rattler in here. I was going to say, who sampled my family camping trip from sixth grade? <laughs> oh, that's the one your dad lost his leg because the snake? Don't bring this. Is, I'm sorry. Don't bring that up. I mean, his peg leg looks cool. It's not. A, it's his real leg. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a not peg. a peg leg. It's his real leg. Now it is, I guess, but... It's his real leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like everybody else's leg. It's his real leg, buddy. We got it. He can wear a shoe on it and everything. It's just his real leg. He's got he's got two legs. Cool legs. Two legs. Two cool legs, yep. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hot in here by Nelly. That's what I guessed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? I, I got goosebumps. I feel like Satan's in the room right now. How do we both get hot in here by Nelly? You heard that too? You heard a glitch? <laughs> I just guessed. I was just like randomly. What? Is it? <laughs> no, it's not. What is it? <laughs> it's. It's Sirens by Denzel Curry and J.I.D. We've been hanging out way too long that we can both take a random shot in the dark and guess the same thing. That is. <laughs> That's bizarre. Can we take a picture? Hold the yeah. sign up so everybody can yeah, screenshot here. this. Here, here, take a picture on your phone, Grant. This is the work of the devil, so wow. we need to memorize the this. The true hive mind moment. <sighs> that is so weird. Dude. I think we both lose a point for that. <laughs> yeah, we both lose a point. We both lose all our points. Go yeah. back to zero, zero. <laughs> DJ Grant has more sample work to do. What if I want the satisfaction? What if I want the satisfactions? Ooh, what's the strangest animal egg you've ever eaten? Strangest animal egg I've ever eaten? Yeah, like a fox or a dolphin or like a, a whale egg or... A dolphin egg? <laughs> yeah. Dolphin Or a egg. horse. Horse you know? egg? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that most of the animals that you listed had eggs. Scottish <laughs> terrier. Scottish terrier egg, okay. Um, I had a scrambled egg once. Is that a... Sc a scramble's an animal, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you've had a scramble egg. Oh, a deviled egg. So I had a... <laughs> oh! Yeah, egg from a devil. You're not supposed to eat those, you know? 
know that? What do you mean? Uh, it's like seven Holy Marys, two confessions, whatever. It, the list goes oh, on. Oh, no, I do the regimen, obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's like part of the joy for you? Yeah. I mean, I exercise after every meal, so. Mm. <laughs> and deviled eggs are a meal for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yum, yum, yum. a lot of mayonnaise. <laughs> no. Sometimes I forget the eggs and it's just the mayo. <laughs> no, just the filling. You kind of... <laughs> Uh, birthday cake icing, yeah. squeeze it in your mouth. You ever seen you ever seen them uh, make cupcakes like on those fancy shows mm -hmm. with those things? I fill those with mayonnaise and just kind of like face it this way, kind of like mm. uh, suicide style. And just <laughs> suicide style. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, actually, do you know that old basketball player? Yeah. OJ Mayo? That's mm -hmm. my favorite combo too. OJ and deviled egg mayo. OJ and mayo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I drink like a six cups of orange juice and then just... <laughs> that's cool. You have a weird diet, so... Hey, I have to. I have IBS, a bunch of allergies and stuff, so that's what works for me, and uh -huh. uh, don't yuck my yum. Yeah, as they say. Three, two, one. Brockhampton Gold. I went with Love is Rage, Lil Uzi Vert. This is She Knows This by Kid Cudi. Ah. Mm, she knows this. All right, three to one. We sucked at this game today. <sighs> Talk about an old school gridiron banger of a low scoring defensive ball game. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that. Yeah. What if I want the satisfaction? Three to one, final score. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for playing along in the chat and the comments. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that other great stuff. Uh, join the Patreon if you'd like. That's the best way to support us. It's only $5 a month. Uh, other than that, Graydon, do you want to leave these wonderful people who watch our channel and sometimes just watch it like in the background passively mm -hmm. with some advice to leave or live their lives by? This one's a little on the nose, but yeah. it's how I'm feeling right now. Okay. You know, even if you don't get things right, if you don't have all the knowledge to tie things together, you can always deepen your appreciation for music. All right, this has been High Mind TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you in the next video. I love you! And you! And you! And you! And you! And you! We're gonna need a hint on this one. No. no. We, we gotta get some wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've gotten them all wrong. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, that, that one was mean. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I didn't get there because of the bill, but I feel I thought it was funny. much better now. <laughs> Take a picture now. They're, they're going to be bigger in a few months. What?